Hi, hello, Ray Anticristo. I'm working as an overseas Filipino worker. I'm working as a electrical instrumentation and telecom as a QEQC right now. So uh, for for five years here in UE, 17 years na I'm being overseas Filipino worker. So our topic for today is about fiber optic cable and twisted pair. So that for your information, so what is all about? So fiber optic cable, also called optical fiber, so FOC. This is a type of internet cable which consists one or more optic fiber that are used in transmit data. And also uh, the transmission capacity of optical fiber cable that is 26,000 times higher than a twisted pair cable. Okay, so this is our example. So you can see in your left side, that is a sample of fiber optic, and then your right, right side also another sample of the fiber optic. It depends on the vendor, vendor that you are ordering or you, you need to order any, any cable or any fiber optic cable. Okay, so that is uh, depends on the vendor. Single mode fiber that is SMF and multi mode fiber that we call MMF. Okay, and single mode the glass fiber with a diameter of 8.3 to 10 microns and that can be transmission and also 13 10 or 1510 nanometer this is your reference when you do the testing so for example when you do factory acceptance test so the vendor the vendor telling you that we we need to do the 1310 1510 1625 it depends on your procedure and the vendor will give you an idea what is all about of this FOC because they are expert regarding this fiber optic cable all right so you can they can also do the spectral width single mode optical wave guide only mode fiber so this is all about the single mode and single mode gives a higher transmission rate up to 50 times more distance than multi-mode that is uh, you know the cost is more beneficial so depends on the company the project as well so single mode fiber has much smaller core than multi-mode the small core and single lightweight virtually eliminate any distortion that could result from overlapping light forces providing the less signal attenuation and the highest transmission speed of the fiber cable type so uh, signal attenuation we, I, we will discuss that later. So what is this attenuation? So this is multi-mode fiber. Multi-mode fiber with a larger core and designed to carry multiple light trays or moods at the same time. Okay. And multi-mode cable has a little bit bigger diameter with a common diameter up to 50 to 100 micron range for the light carry component and then the most common size is 6.2 microns okay most application in which multi-mode fiber is used so fiber are used okay and then the other multi-fiber multi-mode fiber at the bandwidth of high speed 10 to 100 mbit Yes. Okay. So gigabit to 275 meters. And then as you can see the moods as they travel through the cable core typically it's 850 or 1300 nanometer. So this is also your references for the multi-mode during the testing as well. Okay. So next slide. Next, follow, next following slide that I'll give you an information about that. 
and then typical multi-mode fiber core diameters is 50, 62.5, and 10 micrometers. However, in the long cable runs greater than 3,000 feet, that small type fat of light can use signal distortion at the receiving end, resulting in the unclear and complete data transmission. So it depends on the designer or the designer and the company and also the vendor that can provide you all of the information regarding the FOC cable. Okay. And then the also utilizing for multi-mode and single mode and roll of thumb for for more for single mode that is your utilizing for long installation long connection of your cable uh, for by kilometers and uh, see this is the common single fiber cable o s2 cable and multi-mode fiber cable om1 up to 5 and in the transmission distance single mode fiber this is what i'm telling up to several kilometers so based on my experience we are we are using for example where we are using a sub -C cable that is uh, very far away by kilometers how many kilometers that's uh, around 20 kilometers 25 kilometers it depends on the project right and then that will be along with a fiber optic cable that is what we call that composite cable okay and then multi-mode cable fiber that you can use up to 550 meters over 10 uh, giga network so that's what i'm saying roll of the thumb panel to panel server to another server server to another cabinet so that's in the same room or in the next other building as long as that you have uh, you're utilizing 550 meters that is more time one fiber cable okay now this is our fiber optic cable characteristic and then i will just show it to you this how references for your attribution testing so for the single mode that 1010 and 1550 and more time mode so there's an all information for your guidance okay and also another here this is your fiber optic paths panel and power meter testing how to test your cable as installed and by by doing otdr and power meter the source of light all right this is all the information and this is your equipment that you are utilizing at site and during the testing of your fiber optic cable and also this is the information of your wire along with the cable when when you're splicing that one you can see different different cable wire so that is your reference different color color coding what we say and we have an otdr optical time domain reflector Reflectometer, this is your reference how to do the testing of your OTDR and power meter as well. Okay, the power meter source that is giving end to end the light. If the light you can see for the testing, for example, you can put the light source, the power source, up in the in the other end, and then you can see in the other end as well, there is a light. So meaning to say that is good fiber optic okay that is your source for your testing and then twisted pair pair cable so twisted pair cable is often used for telecom communication and most modern internet network so usually if you are if you are involved in the telecommunication server cabinet and other other cabinets that you are utilizing for this uh, twisted pair cable then you can understand exactly what is the purpose of twisted pair cable so it kind of wiring with two conductor and single circuit is twisted together a pair of wires forms a circuit that can transmit data and the pair are twisted together to provide protection against crosstalk and noise generated adjacent pair so this is uh, 
what we call this why we're using twisted interference okay distortion whatever so this is why we're using a twisted pair cable that is the purpose okay. there are two types of twisted pair this inter and twist and unshield twisted pair and shielded twisted pair so the utp and stp you can see this one in your design criteria and also you can see in your testing so these sheets and also during the inspection and commissioning you can see this utp and stp okay the commonly used for utp utp copper cable that is cat 5 cat 5 e cat 6 cat 6 a and cat 6 7 so usually now in the project based on my experience we are using cat 6 and sometimes we're using cat 7 this two copper cable this is what we are utilizing in the project as well okay so the stp copper cable has a few has a foil wrapped outside on the each pair of wires so when you when you when you uh, remove of this you can see how it's a uh, rapid of the foil okay the four pairs of wires then are wrapped in an overall metal braid of foil usually usually 150 ohm cable so stp cable has a better capacity of resisting noise than utp cable even if both of them can be used the thin gigabase know the difference between utp and stp so this is uh it depends on the project that you are utilizing stp and utp because this is involved in the cost of your project so money involved all right so this is your example uh, for your twisted pair cable jacket braided fuel shield fuel shield that is what uh, what i'm telling there wrap and then there's another your cable is twisted pair okay so what is twisted pair cable the consists of pair and insulated wires twisted together it is a patch cable type used in telecommunication for a very long time twisting help to reduce noise pick up from outside source and crosstalk of multi pair cable twisted pair cable is good for transferring balanced differential signal which can date back to the early days of telegraph and radio twisted pair cable is often used in data network for short and medium length connection because of its relative relatively lower cost compared to optical fiber and a coaxial cable as well so the most commonly used for the twisted pair is unshell twisted that's what i'm telling utp and stp okay so the utp may vary telephone grade wire extremely high speed cable the cable has four pairs of wires inside the jacket so it's pair is twisted with a different number of twists per ends to help eliminate interference okay interference from adjacent pairs and other electrical devices okay i will give you an idea this is a cat six cable okay cable type and then data rate bandwidth and application so this is the table depends of the project where what type that you are using at the name of the of the pair of the cable okay so shielded twisted pair that is tp is a similar unshielded twisted pair however it contains extra foil wrapping of copper braided jacket so this is the difference okay of the stp and utp so additional covering stp cable st stops electromagnetic interference so that's why this is uh, commonly used okay from leaking out of or into the cable compared to utp but this is uh you know already the the cause of the of this uh cable that we are using cat 6 cat 7 
So it depends of the budget as well again. Okay. So the other usual STP cables is often called foil twisted pair cables or screen twisted pair cables. Make use of the just thinner outer fuel shield. Okay. Uh, but they're very difficult to install except in cases where the maximum foil tension and minimum bend radius is strictly observed. That's why during the inspection and installation, we need to be very, very strict regarding this kind of installation. So we don't want more uh, like uh, you bend all this uh, cable together because this is the make issue later on okay so that's why we we need to be very strict about this stp cable is to use to eliminate inductive and capacitive coupling twisting cancel out inductive coupling okay most application this cable are between equipment racks and building shielding adds some attenuation to the cable compared to unshielded but usually not because in the case of balanced transmission, the completing signals will effectively cancel out and shield currents. So shield current losses are negligible. So guidance for UTP and STP. So this is all the information. So as you can see, the following will talk about their performance of UTP and STP. Network from signs of alien crosstalk termination and installation and cost. So this is alien crosstalk. So E A X T unwanted disturbing signal coupling from one balance twisted pair component channel or permanent link to another. The term of alien is used because unlike pair to pair crosstalk. Alien crosstalk is a disturbing noise source that originate from outside an affected length of cable. So this is Alien crosstalk. So now uh, we already understand some information of the fiber optic cable, if OC for short, and and the pair twisted pair cable. So thank you guys. Hopefully that uh, this information that I can give you an idea, a little bit idea, uh, you can utilize, you can use in your information during your work if you are a telecommunication engineer, if you, are, if you are a technician, if you are a technician of fiber optic cable, so if you are an inspector, so you have an idea how and what is needed during your inspection what is needed during your testing so this is all about the information so thank you guys and don't forget like comment and share and subscribe my youtube channel for any updated videos that can that i am uploaded so you can see as soon as possible so thank you and have a nice day Bye-bye.